respective guests, dear fellow technology enthusiasts, my dear friends, ladies and gentlemen. As we all know, social networking enables communication, interaction, and social exchange of thoughts, beliefs, opinions, and ideas without leaving your home and office or wherever you are. We also know that there are numerous mediums that provide social networking. There are numerous social networking websites. You may be surprised with the huge number of users they got. For example, the giant ones are Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, uh, High Five, etc. These are these are the social networking websites that provide a variety of online services for their users. Social networking engulfs the world today, but it's good. It's good for the intellectual ability of human beings. It's not bad for us, but it's a very good tool that makes us be connected to our friends, families, uh, all around the world. Social networking is, is more popular with online services. But why less number of people in Afghanistan have access to social media? What is the reason? Why we, we don't have uh, access or less number of people in Afghanistan have access to uh, social media? As uh, if you notice in other uh, countries, uh, you can see a large number of people are uh, having access to social media. The main and important reason that we can say is the cost of domestic internet in Afghanistan is quite high. If you want to get a decent internet connection, you have to spend more than $1,000 per month so that you can access, you can surf internet. This, is, this was exactly what was coming in our mind two years ago. My friends and I, we were thinking how to make a solution, how to find a way to get access to social media or to uh, enable our community to get access to social networking. I'm sure you agree with what we believed and what was the resource available at that time was mobile phone. The growth of mobile networks in Afghanistan was amazing. You, you coverage all over the country. You, you can find the uh, majority of the population uh, having a mobile phone. So this, is, this was... Yes. Less than 1 in 25 Afghans have access to the internet. But more than half of the population have a mobile phone. So this is a, a great opportunity to anybody who provides mobile solutions. So this was the available resource. And we were thinking that maybe we can do something we can provide a solution or we can provide a platform that enables users to communicate with a large number of friends, families, and share their ideas and thoughts. So we tried to design a platform to use SMS technology and enable our users to communicate uh, using SMS as a social networking. We had this thought in our mind without thinking all the obstacles on our way and all the challenges which, which we were not thinking that we will face. As I mentioned, the first challenge was the internet connection. The second one, connecting a platform to all the operators here in Afghanistan. And the 
Third point that I can, I can mention is that we had the resource. We had, for example, uh, uh, majority of the population had a mobile phone and they had access to SMS technology. But traditionally, Afghan people, they are more inclined of using voice call rather than SMS. So the, the, the aim and the purpose of uh, providing this solution and after all, you know, going ahead and providing this solution, which is called PayWast. PayWast in our language means to connect is an SMS-based mobile social networking. After we succeeded and we provided this solution, the aim was not only to make this service successful, but also to cultivate the culture of using SMS in Afghanistan. And fortunately, this platform contributed 25% of all SMS traffic in the year 2011. As time passed, we came across the facts about this country and about uh, this nation and people of Afghanistan. I can explain only two facts, which is which which, uh, which is I think quite interesting. One is that Afghans are aggressive and early adopters. One example for this is when we launched this solution, within three months we reached to 250,000 users, and we know that recently the launch of 3G in Afghanistan and the dramatically increase of you know, internet users using mo mobile phone, it's amazing and far exceeded the region countries. It's been three months that 3G is launched in big cities of Afghanistan, but there is a huge number of users. The second fact is that Afghans don't mind spending money on technology when they see the value. And at the same time, there is another fact that majority of mobile users in Afghanistan, they are using a phone which is which worth more than $500. So this is also something that it's rare in other region countries. And a real story about the expectations that we had after uh, for, uh, while we were designing this platform and some things that happened which we were not expecting. It's a quite interesting story. When we were designing this platform, the aim was to uh, that service will be used by young generation, you know, young and educated uh, generation. But we came across examples where this service was used was quite amazing. We have seen, this is a real story, I have, I, I have came across this. Uh, we had seen that religious people, mullahs, they had created a, their own group. They are communicating with their community. They are asking for uh, their problems in that community and also spreading peace messages. So this was, we were not expecting that, you know, old age people and people whom we were thinking that they may not use the service. But we came across this example that there are a lot of uh, people who are using uh, this type of services and uh, people are quite interested. I just want to conclude my speech by two statements. One is that by empowering people to reach out regardless of their social, financial, and capacity, we can make a stronger nation. The second one is that when you have a dream of building something, even though there are a lot of obstacles and challenges on your way, but when you, you dream for something and when you see the result that your dream is coming through, you will forget all the challenges, all the difficulties which were on your way. Thank you very much.